insert this little oil plate or whatever it is, spacer, in. And it goes sort of cup side down and it's a little, well, I think it's in the way now, instead of bronze finger. <laughs> it's got a little tang, let's move the light around so you can see it. A little tang at the top there that goes into it. There you go, you can see the little slot, perfect. And like that, shim. That's its name, is it a shim? Yep. Get we'll, this. we'll call it a shim. We'll call it a shim. Yeah. It just lies on top. And uh, pops your ankle. And then we just uh, slot the gearbox. Yeah. Assembling the gearbox, I always use this fine tool that I made many years ago. It's actually listed in the MZ um, engine uh, workshop manual as one of the tools to be made, um, which I copied. Not very well, but it works, that's the important thing. And I use that to assemble the shafts. The big one there goes furthest away from you. Then the smaller one there that meshes with it in. Next. Like so. And then we start putting the uh, gear, gearbox selectors in. Now they, they do actually go, obviously, in a, a certain direction. And the 010 goes in first and, importantly, has its number facing away from you. Next is the 011 numbers. Eleven facing towards you. O twelve again the numbers facing towards you, and we insert the selector rod. This is a shaft that the selector forks run on, um, and the long parallel section. Uh, goes away from you in this situation. So, sorry, just to, just to reiterate that. So that's the circlip. It's a circlip on. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a special washer. It's a special washer. The special washer actually fits into that recess there and is a vital bit of the gearbox. It's, it's quite easy to, to lose those in disassembly but must be fitted with them and they're special. You now a standard washer will not work. Cool. Now the selector drum. A bit of pokery. That was a good one. Um, okay and it sits something like that. And then the other, so let's give it a spin round, and the other arm sitting. So basically, the way it works is as you, you, you move the gear, gear lever wherever it's attached to the other end. Um, That's moving the selector. It moves the selector bolts and up and down and disengages and engages the yeah. box. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Now, at this point, you just grab it as an assembly. You've got to make sure the washer, the special washer, doesn't fall off. That Absolutely, <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. And again, searching for. Would you believe it? Better. 
change of note, down solidly, down solidly, down solidly. So you actually tap the end of each shaft, so that, yeah, that's the... That's yeah, the... Until, until you know, that you, you can hear the, the change of note when it's home in the position that it should be. Um, and it all rotates nicely, looks good. Okay. Right, next thing. And so all those tricksy washers and spacers go in the other half today. Yeah, well, we, we've, still got, we've still got the small washer that you saw on the other end of this shaft. We've got another one that goes on here. And then you've got the actual selector mechanism to go into there. Okay. So what you did then, you just opened its the little yeah. jaws. So they're in. And that's... Things that can go wrong, because we've done everything wrong in the past, it's, is you can actually lose that little spigot thing there. It's not in as tight as you might have thought. Um, and if you're not checking every move, you put the bloody gearbox together without that, and of course nothing works. So take the engine apart again. So best to check that everything's in place. Now we need to put the small washer special washer on the end of the uh, selector fork shaft which we in so we found the special washer was um it was in the tin with all the other stuff and it stuck itself to the uh the pvl ignition magnet so it looks a lot like i'm just going to take it off just for the just for my viewers there you go it looks a bit like that doesn't look special but it, it, it's, it's expensive if you miss it. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the OD that's small compared to the ID that uh, makes mm. it special.